Hello everyone, Kotongwane, the native god here. In this video, we are going to look at a problem based on the use of Darcy's formula, right? Now, as you see, we are going to be looking at the case where we have two reservoirs connected with a pipeline, right? Now, I've taken the liberty of drawing the diagram, right, based on the question we're about to do, and the question reads as follows. Two reservoirs are connected by a pipeline of diameter 200 millimeters and length 1600 meters. The levels of the water in the two reservoirs differ by 65 meters. The resistance coefficient in the pipeline is 0 0.006. If all losses except frictional losses are ignored, determine the rate of flow in liters per second. Right now, as you see, I've drawn and labeled. Right, the diagram of this question, right, you have two reservoirs and they're connected by a pipeline, right? The pipe is 0 0.2 meters in diameter and has a length of 1,600, right? And then, of course, you know we are going to have H1 and H2, both referenced from the ground. Now, we don't necessarily need to have the values of H1 and H2 as long as we have the value of the difference in water levels for the first and second reservoir which we have right they said the levels of water in the two reservoirs differ by 65 meters right so that is essentially the difference in the two reservoirs right which i've indicated here right so the change or the difference in the two the difference in water levels between the two um, reservoirs is 65 meters right now in the previous video right in the previous video we saw that in applying Binoli's theorem right we end up with the frictional head loss being equal to what the change in H right so as far as how you start your solution for these kind of problems is instead of applying Pinoli's right because you already know where applying Pinoli's is going to lead you which is at hf is equal to the change in h right we recommend that you start your solution at that point right so you don't necessarily have to um, start by writing out Pinoli's equation right and then coming to this point right so coming to this point Right, because we already know that you are going to come to this point, you might as well start your solution at this point. Right. So as far as your solution, right, you are able to start your solution at HF is equal to change in H. Because in applying Benoli's, we know, right, that we are going to get at this point. Either way, right. And also there is no marks for showing Benoli's equation, right. So you can simply just start your solution at this point. HF, which is the frictional head loss, is equal to the change in H. And the change in H is equal to 65. So your frictional head loss is equal to 65 meters. Right? Why do we need the frictional head loss? Now, they want us to calculate the flow rate in liters per second. Right? We know that in considering losses, we use either Darcy's or Chase's formula. Right? So here we're going to be using we're going to be calculating the flow rate using one of Darcy's formulas variations right because remember with Darcy's formula we have two variations right of Darcy's formula one which is for velocity and one which is for the flow rate so because we're looking for the flow rate here right we're going to use the variation of Darcy's formula that is particular to what to the flow rate now, as far as the formula we're going to use, it's HF is equal to F times L times Q squared over the 3,026 times D to the 5, right? This is Darcy's formula that we use if we've been given or if we are looking for the flow rate, right? And then we have everything here except what we are looking for so we can simply just substitute 
we just calculated hf it's equal to 65 right the frictional coefficient is 0 0.006 the length of the pipe is 1600 right we are looking for q divided by the 3,026 times the diameter of the pipe is 200 millimeters which is 0 0.2 to the x.5 right now at this point you can use whatever you are comfortable with mathematically right but as far as how i approach such problems right i'm simply going to calculate the fraction as it is right so i'm going to punch the numerator over the denominator as it is here and then i get so if i do that i get the 9914,078 q squared right and then solving for q i obviously have to divide both sides by the 9914,078 right so essentially going to have q squared is equal to the 65 over the 9914,078 right and because i'm looking for q apply the square root on both sides hence q will be equal to q will be equal to now they said we must leave this in liters right so because we have to leave this in liters right i will get 80 comma 971 liters per second right because you have to leave this in liters this is what you get right so that is how you would approach such a problem right for such a case so a case where you have two reservoirs um, connected by a pipeline right now next i want us to look at a problem right i want us to look at a problem where essentially we are looking at a horizontal pipe right now this is not a typical horizontal pipe problem right because as you can see right you have two reservoirs right and they are connected by a pipeline now the pipeline happens to be horizontal right and because it is horizontal and also we do not have enough information we don't we do not have enough information to use right to use the change in water levels between the first and second reservoir right the information we have is such that we have enough information right in the pipe so we're going to use the horizontal pipe right in getting whatever it is that we are looking for right now as much as we have two reservoirs but because the two reservoirs are connected with a horizontal pipe right we are going to treat this problem as if you just have a horizontal pipe right now the problem reads as follows two reservoirs are joined by means of a pipeline 200 millimeters in diameter and 2500 meters in length if the pipeline is horizontal has a resistance coefficient of 0 0.05 and its flow rate is 10 liters per second then we need to calculate the loss of head between the inlet and the outlet of the pipe right the loss of head between the inlet and outlet of the pipe the only loss of head we have here is the frictional head loss so they want us to calculate the frictional head loss right they want us to calculate the frictional head loss now based on what you've been given we have the length of the pipe we have the diameter of the pipe we have the frictional coefficient they've given us q right q is in liters per second so converting from liters per second to cubic meters to cubic meters per second right we get 0 0.01 cubic meters per second right so if you think about it really if you think about it we have everything right that we need to calculate the frictional head loss using Darcy's formula, 
right? Remember Darcy's formula. Because we have, or we've been given Q, we are going to use the variation of Darcy's formula that is particular to what? To Q. So this is F times L times Q squared, right? Over the 3,026 times D to the 5, right? We have the frictional coefficient, we have the length of the pipe, we have the flow rate, and we have the diameter of the pipe. So we have everything we need to calculate HF or the frictional head loss using Darcy's formula. So this is equal to, now this is 0 0.05, the length of the pipe is 2,500. So this is 2,500. Q is 0 0.01 so squared right over the 3,026 times the diameter of the pipe is 200 millimeters so 0 0.2 to the x.5 right now if you punch this in your calculators as it is you're going to get 12,909 meters right so as far as the loss of head between the inlet and outlet of the pipe, right, we have calculated it, right? Now, 7.2, they want us to calculate the difference in pressure between the inlet and the outlet, right? Now, if you remember from the previous video, right, if you remember from the previous video, if you're looking at a case where you have a horizontal pipe, right? When applying Pinoli's, right? So if the inlet of the pipe you take is one and the exit of the pipe, that will be two, right? When you apply Pinoli's in such a case, right? So when you're looking at a horizontal pipe, if you apply Pinoli's, right? In applying Pinoli's, HF, which is the frictional head loss, ends up equ equaling what? The change in pressure over rho g, right? So from the previous video, this is what we ascertained, right? So instead of having to apply Pinoli's again, right? Or instead of having to apply Pinoli's, which you know, if you apply Pinoli's, you are going to come back to this step here, right? You can just simply start your solution at this step, right? So. HF is equal to the change in pressure over rho g, right? Now, the question said, calculate the difference in pressure. So the difference in pressure is essentially change in pressure, right? So from this point, to calculate the change in pressure, you simply just cross multiply, right? So therefore, right, the change in pressure will be equal to what? Rho g HF, right? So this will be equal to the row of water. So the density of water is a thousand, right? So a thousand times G, which is 9,81 times HF, which we calculated and got the 12,909. Now, if you punch that in your calculators, you're going to get the 126,637. Now this is in kilopascals, right? And that's how you would approach such a problem, right? If you have any questions about anything, right, we can talk about it in the comment section. If this video was likable to you, please like, subscribe, and share the content to your fellow students. Okay? See you in the next one.